Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be going over everything dishonorable and toxic in Battlefront 2. So basically everything I personally consider toxic behavior in the game. The reason why I make this video is because the Battlefront community has been going downhill for a while. Most people play very toxic and abuse bugs and glitches and overall have no sense for fairness or honor in any way. Again, this is only my opinion and I'm open for discussion in the comments. With that out of the way, let's get started. First, we will take a look at Hero Showdown. I actually ranked all of them because some things are more toxic than others. So, let's start with the most dishonorable thing you can do. 2 vs 1 someone while one of you is a blaster. You'll always be under attack and get shot and always have to defend and block. You can't attack the blaster because he keeps his distance and when you try to attack the saber you will get lasered by the blaster. And I know the argumentation of the people who will disagree with me. It's a team mode and was made to play this way. I think that's just an excuse to be toxic and unfair instead of having a fair one versus one lightsaber duel. Most people who argue this way are just too bad to play fair and lie to themselves with that excuse. Anyway, it's just so annoying to fight against those people, so please don't do this. Let's move on to the second thing. Using the overpowered hero combinations. If you don't know them, these are ability combinations of certain heroes that can basically kill an enemy hero without him being able to do anything. Like the double freeze with Aiden and Kylo. Aiden's freeze will break through the block and Kylo will freeze the enemy again. Aiden can laser the enemy to death in that time and even if not, you still have the frenzy to kill him off. Another overpowered combination is the Han and Anakin combo. Han's grenade will break through the block again and then you can do the full Anakin combo on the enemy. Well, hand shoot some. These combos are way too strong in my opinion and you absolutely shouldn't use them. Moving on to number 3. I see this a lot on the battlefront. I am of course talking about camping. And since camping with sabers doesn't really give you any advantage, people mostly camp with blasters. For instance, Bosk players, who will go into some hallway and stay there with their proximity mines. Then there really is nothing you can do. If you attack, you will die. And these people are so toxic, they are willing to wait the whole match. They also often use Phasma. Place the droid in the hallway and wait until you come close or the time is up. Another toxic and dishonorable thing is to use bugs and glitches that are in the game. For instance, the Grievous bugs. Thrust search through block, his bugged hitboxes, or Kylo's 4-hit frenzy, or Vader's unlimited stamina bug. There are really so much more, but I guess you know what I mean. This leads us to the next point. People who are just running away for 5 minutes straight, instead of fighting. Most of the time, they just know they can't win a fair duel. And if your mate left the map because he rage quitted or something else, the enemies will win in case of a draw. So this is also very toxic and should not ever be done. The next thing I want to talk about is 2 vs 1 someone with 2 sabers. Even if you don't play a blaster, it's still very toxic and dishonorable. So guys, always give the people the chance on a fair 1 vs 1. Okay, moving on to number 6. Constantly hook swinging as a tactic. I know, this is very controversial. In my opinion, they shouldn't even be in the game. But since they are and a lot of people use them, I wanted to talk about them too. I think it's okay to use them as a finisher move, when you got your enemy low on health and want to finish him off before he regenerates. What's not okay is to use them all the time as an offensive strategy or technique. That's just annoying and really is not the point of a lightsaber duel. Lightsaber combat is about dashing, predicting your enemy and fast reactions. And not really about jumping around and hit through the block. Anyway, coming to the next point. Throwing people out of the map. I know this can be very fun in other modes and is an easy kill, but you really shouldn't do this in Hero Showdown. That mode is for lightsaber combat and lightsaber combat only. Well, taking a look at number 9, the last point. Emoting and teabagging. I personally don't consider this very toxic. The way you play shows if you're toxic or not. Any emote or teabagging is not such big of a deal. But I know some people think it's very toxic, so I included it in the video. All in all, these are the things you shouldn't do in Hero Showdown. If you see some things differently, feel free to write a comment. 
but stay polite, this was just my opinion. Let's move on to heroes vs villains now. In heroes vs villains it's okay to fight one enemy with the whole team, so you don't need to give a 1 vs 1 or anything. Heroes vs villains is more of a big and wild slaughtering and chaos. That's the fun of the mode. What you shouldn't do in a casual match is to camp with your whole team at one place and wait for your enemies to come to you. Now to the topic of blasters in heroes vs villains. In my opinion, it's perfectly fine to play them in Heroes vs Villains, but only if you play them aggressively and go into close combat. You absolutely shouldn't camp at the end of the map with a blaster and just shoot everyone fighting normally in close combat. That's just so annoying, unfair and toxic. You shouldn't do this. Staying back and shooting from the end of the map is something for Galactic Assault or Supremacy. Of course, you also shouldn't abuse bugs and glitches and shouldn't emoting or teabagging your enemies. So basically these are all the no-go's in heroes vs villains that I personally consider toxic behavior. Camping and staying back, bug and glitch abuse and emoting or teabagging. But to every rule there is an exception. So we will take a look at the situations in which you can ignore this code of honor. Both in showdown and heroes vs villains. First, the enemies are extremely bad and absolutely would have no chance of winning a fair duel anyway. Like two level 5 players who are completely lost. Of course levels aren't everything and you should first look how good they are. Secondly, you can also abandon all rules if the enemies were toxic in the first place. Then you can destroy fire with fire, but in an appropriate way. If one of them just emoted after winning a 1 vs 1, you don't have the right to fight him in a 2 vs 1. I think you know what I mean. Always be responsible and reasonable with it. The third reason is, if you play against specific enemies, who you know and if you agreed on using all that in the first place, then it's okay. These rules are mainly for public lobbies and I appeal to all of you to follow them. If you see something differently, feel free to write a comment, but stay polite, this was just my opinion. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Battlefront content.